Hey, welcome to my video about a video collaboration solution from Yealink, which is a bundle of a video collaboration bar designed for Microsoft Teams and for Zoom. Includes a display panel to control everything. It also offers an external microphone solution, which I'm going to show you, of course, with my voice samples and a wireless streaming dongle. Stay tuned. If you have never heard about Yealink, they are one of the top five ranked providers around unified communication. So everything for the meeting room, but not only for the rooms, also for your personal devices like headsets, speakerphones. They also have display panels for rooms, intelligent speakerphones. And today I'm going to show you the bundle of the A20 running now on Android 10. So I'm going to deeper what's new here in Android 10 and also show how it works together with the panel and I'm using here as an MVP for Microsoft Teams, I'm showing you how framing works because we have different ways of framing, like presenter tracking, auto framing, there's new real-time framing. So this is going to be one part of my video. I'm going to offer you voice examples, how the voice, how my voice is going to sound with embedded microphones, but also with the external microphones here from getting called VCM36. And we are going to go deeper in the WPP30 dongle which is going to offer a casting experience which is unique. A20 can be a very good choice if you haven't decided if you use Zoom or Teams or just in alone device mode. So if you're unclear about it here there is a future for you maybe because you can switch easily and that was very impressive in my test between Zoom and Teams. It's literally just one single click and then you can switch unified communication provider. I'm not going to mention every single specs, but here it's important it's running on Android 10, also offering a 20 megapixel sensor. The zoom is a digital sensor, not an optical one, so eight times digital zoom and 120 degrees field of view. 820 is designed for small and medium room size. If you want to have a very or medium or large room size, then the 8. 30 would be a better choice with two lenses, but in my case, in my room, what we're going to see in a few minutes, A20 looks very promising. The USB dongle WPP30 offers black and black content sharing. It can be used in local meetings without any kind of Zoom or Teams meeting or just use it in your Teams or Zoom meeting. So here you're flexible. Sharing video and audio can be done wisely under the device mode. You can use AI and audio video features and also you can control your device display panel called CTP18, which I just show you. WPP30 supports up to four streams to be presented simultaneously. It's designed for 4K 30 frames per second. Okay, and now when I'm going into the audio examples with the inbuilt microphone and the extender, extender microphone, I'm going to use background noises, typing, keyboard typing, also eating chips and crisps. The background noise reduction is not designed to reduce uh, background conversations. So if people are talking in your meeting room in the back, you rather tell them not to talk. And here's my extended microphone where I'm talking into. And now I'm moving around at the sofa and sitting close to my daughter. Hey, Maribel. Hello. Here we are. What we're going to do is now changing the position and see how it tracks the speakers. Now we are framed, which is pretty nice, but now I'm going to move to a different part. Now I'm going to the other side. Okay, last position. I'm going to sit very close to the A20. So that's the closest position what I can usually have. I'm staring right into the A20. Okay, Maribel, please say hello and count. Hello. Now we're going to test the auto framing. I'm going to move back here to my daughter, testing the auto framing and continue to have a conversation. So that's how auto framing is going to work. When I'm moving to a different part here at the sofa, the auto frame is changing immediately. Now sitting here, 
that's now the auto framing in this position. Now we are going to play around here with the multi focus frame. That's the multi focus. It proves to be working in real time. I will please count to 10. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I'm sitting here next to her. That's how it's doing the multi framing with us. Okay, closer to the front. And now figuring out how it crops myself. Okay. Again, here's the extended microphone from your link. And it's next to it. Also, our typing exercise. And last but not least, moving the chips around here. The connections here on the A20 are for power plug. There's one for HDMI 1, HDMI number 2. There is a connection to a phone system and VC hub and also Ethernet, Internet. But I'm currently also powering it using Wi-Fi. We have a Kensington and a USB-A to connect the extended microphone. The Yiling A20 bundle is fully certified for Microsoft Teams and you can go into the Teams admin center do firmware updates, check the call quality and patch history. There are a lot of relevant device settings which are not able to be controlled in Teams Admin Center. So here you can also go into the controls, exposure settings, there is white balance, graphics, also for accessibility, many possibilities, high contrast modes. And what I really appreciate is here the easy switch between Teams and Zoom, so you just need to reboot. Hope you found this video useful. Please share feedback, questions, anything in the comments. And thanks for watching.